Hello, celebrity megastar and viral sensation. Celebrity Christopher and Penelope Fountain. Going around the globe and every single nation. Today is June 8th, 2020. And I have a special mass communication. You see... George Floyd is dead. He was killed by a white cop that was a loose cannon to begin with. No doubt in my mind, that's what happened. But please, can we stop ignoring the fact that every time a rapper gets killed or gets sent to prison or a black man gets killed, okay, let's not forget the fact that these people have criminal records, usually a violent crime. Now, George Floyd was not an upstanding citizen, and neither was Nipsey Hussle, or Pop Smoke, YNW Melly, Bill Cosby, neither was R. Kelly, and neither was TK 55 years in prison, which is not enough. Okay? What about Samuel Little, the most prolific African-American serial killer in history that has been said to have killed over 93 people. Okay, we're ignoring the fact that there's black-on-black crime every day. So that's not an excuse for protesting to keep the Carr brothers alive because they were good candidates for the death penalty in El Dorado, Kansas, correctional facility where I used to work at. You see, these people, the Carr brothers, have killed innocent people, and they have been alive for the crimes that they have committed. But what about the victims? Why are they not alive? The answer is simple. Because the Carr brothers killed them. And they do not have a death penalty in Kansas. So in my opinion, the minute that we stop these liberals, these Mormons, from not allowing the death penalty in every state, which it needs to be in. Okay, until we stop that, we're always going to have horrific crimes with no punishments. Okay? So I'm getting tired of every time an African-American is killed, Black Lives Matter. But what about the white man that has been a victim in America for so long? Every time there is a riot in this country, I have been burglarized. 7101 Palomar Parkway, Fort Pierce, Florida. Burglary number one. 1634 East Jump Street, Wichita, Kansas. I was a victim of another burglary. Burglary number two. Also in Wichita, Kansas. Burglary of a Mercedes-Benz. Vandalism. Theft of mail. Okay, so don't talk to me about anything else that matters other than the death penalty in this country. If we have the death penalty in every state... I think, and I know for a fact, that we would have a lot less murderers. We would not have a lot of serial killers because they would be put to death almost immediately after the crimes. Now, until this country gets rid of the people in offices, in government that are halting the death penalty, we are always going to have Crimes. Heinous crimes that are not punished properly. So the white man is a victim. You see, ever since I've been going to high school, I've been watching white women get beat up by African Americans. They love it. They would come over crying to me that they got beat up by their African American boyfriend. I got sick and tired of hearing it. Go to the ghetto where you belong. Don't ever come back into my life. 
I do not want to pay for your mulatto children. It's not my bill. Not my baby. Go somewhere else. Talk to anyone else other than me. Bottom line. Here I am, the most famous celebrity on the globe. Everything I say matters. White lives matter. Now, I still have not had justice on the burglars getting caught that broke into my homes. Not in Fort Pierce, Florida, and not in Wichita, Kansas. How is that justice? It's not. Go to www.kake.com, type in Thief Steals Dog in a Home Break In. $3,500 dog, plus more for the vet bills. I would like my dog back. From any scumbag that stole my property. I would like every burglar caught, arrested, sent to prison for life, if that's what it takes. Or hopefully they got killed in their next burglary. If it's allowed by the law. I pray that burglars lose their lives every day. Because I hate scumbag burglars. If you were in Saudi Arabia, well, you would be subjected to Sharia law. So don't talk to me about stealing another goddamn dime from me. I'm cutting all people off. You're locked out of my life permanently forever. You will never get close to my finances. I will hoard cash and gold and valuables like never before. Believe me. But you're not going to have access to me or my finances. Bottom line. So if you've been jealous of me in the past, go ahead and lose your mind and get more jealous. I'm collecting valuables. Cash, gold, silver on a much different level. Thank you.